Well, obviously, I'm only going out for one overnight, so I was going to take... And normally, I'd take everything with me, so I get used to it, and it's all good testing, but I've done it enough now. I'm pretty confident in how my kit works. So I want to go fairly light, but still keep myself comfortable. So let's just do a quick look at what I'm taking. So starting off with the tank bag. This is the Wunderlich Elephant. I've had it five plus years. What do I keep in this? Dead simple. Uh, in this little pouch here, which is like an organiser that you can buy separately, all I've got is a Leatherman tool, spare set of uh, ear protection, some aspirin, in case you get an headache, nightmare, a pencil, a notebook in here. Obviously, use a pencil so you can still write in the rain. And my glasses, reading glasses. That's it. That's all I keep in there. If I could run without a tank bag, I would. But I always need a tank bag purely to charge my kit. I've only got one charger on the bike, and that's at the front right. So anything I'm charging, which inevitably I have to do, uh, all sits in this tank bag. So obviously, then the uh, GPS will be fitted on the bike. And then in here, in here, I have power bank. That's my adapter for my uh, DIN socket on the front of the bike. And obviously, all the cables I need, that, that's really it. I want to obviously keep a spare memory card in here, etc. But I shouldn't need it for a day out. This is the Krieger R3, 3 litre. I've never really used it. I've used it on a couple of day trips. I've never used it on a tour, but I really want to get to use it because I think it's got real value, especially when you're coming up to things like toll bridges, uh, ferry crossings, uh, customs uh, going across borders and things like that. You can just grab the kit real quick. So I'm going to try it actually um, using it with it sat on the side on my hip, if you like, when I'm riding or just slightly to the rear. I'll give it a go. Uh, I really want to get to use this and get to know it. But what I keep in here, what we're we testing in here is now we'll be keeping my passport and other documentation in here. But this uh, pocket at the top is not, it's water resistant, but not waterproof. So I'll probably stick that within another waterproof bag, uh, a little Ortley document holder in there, because I'm not really going to need that that often. In here's the meat and bones of it. So obviously this is 100% water, uh, waterproof. So, sorry, there you go. That's what I'll keep in there. Uh, wallet. Yeah, mask. I'm going to need one of them. And that's it. Oh, and in the front here in the zip, so I've got quick access, should I need it, is my house keys and obviously my bike keys. So wherever I go, all this important documentation is going to come with me. And also, I think the advantage of this is when I get off my bike, I know there's one place where all my stuff is. You know what it's like when you've got like an adventure jacket, a textile suit, you've got so many pockets, you put stuff everywhere, it annoys me. So this is uh, one bag to rule them all, if you know what I mean. So in there I've got my pillow, which is a Caesar Summit one. I've got my uh, middleweight sleeping bag. And to sleep on, I've got my Caesar Summit Comfort Plus self-inflating uh, roll mat pad thing, which is excellent. I stick it all in my um, left hand pannier because that's obviously the exhaust offside, so that can bulge out a little bit rather than having all the bulky stuff on the already side of the motorbike with the exhaust on, if you know what I mean. Off the bike clothes. Woolly hat, just in case it gets cold at night, which it may well do. Um, one spare pair of pants. These are like the synthetic boxer short sort of things. Um, antibacterial. One pair of socks, lightweight socks. These are hiking socks. Again, both of this. All this kit dries quickly, and to be honest, I don't think I'm going to need them. I'll just keep the same socks and pants on, but if it goes all wrong, if you know what I mean, I will uh, take those with me. I've got this, which I ride, I can use on the bike and off the bike, which is basically a uh, gilet. I think that's the right word. I don't know, but that's a die and easy, uh, like, adventure thing, and you can I can wear that under my jacket if it's cold, and obviously around the campsite. And if push comes to shove, I can wear it in my sleeping bag. One synthetic t-shirt, again, dries very quickly, should it get wet. One pair of lightweight um, walking trousers, that's it. So, trousers, t-shirt, summer warm, spare pair of pants and socks, hat. That's it. And that really is a bit of an overkill, for even for one night. But And that will all go in a waterproof bag. And I try and colour coordinate my bags so I know what they are. Blue for me is always clothes. 
Uh, wash out kit. Well, I'm only going for one night, so I've got myself a little uh, shower gel thing. If I shower, some face cream in case my skin dries out. Some cotton buds, wet wipes. If I don't get a shower, toothbrush, toothpaste, and a sea to summit uh, towel, tech towel. That all goes in uh, wash shaving kit bag, a North Face one, and I've also got a uh, what's it called mosquito net. Oh, and I forgot to mention some uh, insect repellent as well. Um, kitchen wise, I'm taking a jet ball with me this time. It's nice and small, lightweight. I'm only going to be boiling water, and that's all I do with this is just boil water. So, brews and um, what I'm going to eat, which is the pot noodle uh, at night. So, no frills there. Normally, I take my Trangia um, with me, but like I say, it's only a one nighter. Food bag green, green for me indicates food. What have I got? Brew kit. Some white bread, uh, some sweeteners from a coffee, uh, a pot noodle. Notice I packed it in a bag because it's bound to split. And a banana. That's it. The tent I'm using this year, Mountain Safety Research, Hubba Hubba NX2 Crocs. Absolutely unbeatable. Um, I've tried... I remember the first time I went motorcycle camping and I took out a spare pair of trainers with me, some hiking boots, all crap, never needed them. I can get these on as soon as I get to the campsite. I can shower in them. I can go in lakes in them. Uh, they're good enough. I don't need to worry about them breaking. And the best thing is I can just strap them on the outside of my motorbike and it doesn't matter to get wet. And finally, water supply. Now, I know I'm going to a campsite. There's going to be plenty of water. But to stop me going backwards and forwards, I use my Sea to Summit Water Cell X, which carries four litre. I'll probably just fill it with two litres. And that is going to go in my Lomo bag, which will be strapped uh, to just behind me on the bike. So it's obviously it's going to weigh at least two kilos if it's got two litres in it. So it's nice and central. That's quite heavy. Um, this will obviously come into its own when I go on the bike tour because I'll be doing a lot of wild camping so I'm estimating that four litres a day should see me right. I've done a review on that, check the channel out, you can have a look at it if you're interested. And I think that's it.